This is Cambridge English Movers. Practice test three. Listening. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. This is the new animal hospital, Grandma. Oh, it's very busy in here, Jack. Can you see that woman with the curly hair? The one with the kitten? No, the one behind the desk. That's Vicky. She's my friend's mum. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Do you see that man with the mice in the cage? The man with the red jeans? Yes, that's right. What's his name? Peter. He works with my dad. Two. Can you see that woman with the dog? The one with the long skirt? Yes. Is she your mother's friend? Yes. Her name's Daisy. Three. That girl with the glasses is my sister's friend. She's carrying a monkey. That's right. What's her name? Pat. She's very nice. Four. Can you see that tall man? The one who's got a snake? Yes, it's a big snake. Do you know him too? Yes, his name's Tom. He was a teacher at my school. Five. Look at that man. The one with the black beard? Yes, that's Fred. He lives in my street. Do you like his parrot? Yes, and listen. It's talking. Wow, it's very clever. Now listen to part one again. One. Do you see that man with the mice in the cage? The man with the red jeans? Yes, that's right. What's his name? Peter. He works with my dad. Two. Can you see that woman with the dog? The one with the long skirt? Yes. Is she your mother's friend? Yes. Her name's Daisy. Three. That girl with the glasses is my sister's friend. She's carrying a monkey. That's right. What's her name? Pat. She's very nice. Four. Can you see that tall man? The one who's got a snake? Yes, it's a big snake. Do you know him too? Yes, his name's Tom. He was a teacher at my school. Five. Look at that man. The one with the black beard? Yes, that's Fred. He lives in my street. Do you like his parrot? Yes, and listen, it's talking. Wow, it's very clever. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you help me with my homework, Mom? Yes, Tony. I have to write about a shop. What's your favorite one? It's Gold's. G O L D S. Gold's? Do you go there every week? Yes, I do. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write.
One. Where is the shop? It's next to the bus station. The bus station? Yes, that's right. Oh, that's a good place for a shop. Two. What do you buy there? Shoes? You can buy lots of things there, but it's my favorite shop in town for handbags. Handbags? Yes. I bought a beautiful new one last week. Three. When I go to the shop, I often have a drink. Oh, so there's a cafe, too. Yes, it's a very big shop. Where is the cafe? In the basement. Oh, I see. The basement. Four. Can you eat pasta in the cafe? No, they don't have hot food. So what can you eat? Well, they have great cakes. Cakes? Oh, that's good, Mom. Five. Can we go there on Saturday? Good idea. They're giving DVDs to all the children who come to the shop this week. That's great. I love watching DVDs. Me too. Now listen to part two again. One. Where is the shop? It's next to the bus station. The bus station? Yes, that's right. Oh, that's a good place for a shop. Two. What do you buy there? Shoes? You can buy lots of things there, but it's my favorite shop in town for handbags. Handbags? Yes. I bought a beautiful new one last week. Three. When I go to the shop, I often have a drink. Oh, so there's a cafe, too. Yes. It's a very big shop. Where is the cafe? In the basement. Oh, I see. The basement. Four. Can you eat pasta in the cafe? No, they don't have hot food. So what can you eat? Well, they have great cakes. Cakes? Oh, that's good, Mom. Five. Can we go there on Saturday? Good idea. They're giving DVDs to all the children who come to the shop this week. That's great. I love watching DVDs. <laughs> Me too. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did Jim do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Jim. What did you do last week on your school holiday? Hello, Mrs White. I went to my uncle and aunt's new home. Their apartment is on a beach. That's great. Did you enjoy it? Well, on Saturday, 
I had to help my uncle paint his boat. Oh, no. Was it difficult? Yes, but in the afternoon we went for a walk on the beach. Can you see the line from the word Saturday? On Saturday, Jim and his uncle painted his boat. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Wednesday was a busy day. Why? I helped my aunt in the garden. We planted some flowers. Oh, did you like doing that? It was OK. My aunt was happy because I helped her. She took me to the cinema. The film was about pirates. Two. Friday was a nice day. Oh no, I mean Tuesday. What did you do on Tuesday? My aunt and I went to the market. Did you buy something? Yes, we bought three paintings of some boats on the sea. Three. Did you go swimming in the sea? Yes, it was exciting. Which day did you do that? Sunday, and I saw some dolphins. Wow! Four. We had a great party one day. All my uncle and aunt's friends came to see the new apartment. Which day was that? Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Did you cook any nice food for them? No. We sat in the garden. I painted a picture of a pirate. Five. What did you do on Monday? My aunt wanted to put some flowers on the balcony. Did you help her? No, not that day. I went swimming. My uncle and aunt have a swimming pool in their garden. Now listen to part three again. One. Wednesday was a busy day. Why? I helped my aunt in the garden. We planted some flowers. Oh, did you like doing that? It was OK. My aunt was happy because I helped her. She took me to the cinema. The film was about pirates. Two. Friday was a nice day. Oh no, I mean Tuesday. What did you do on Tuesday? My aunt and I went to the market. Did you buy something? Yes, we bought three paintings of some boats on the sea. Three. Did you go swimming in the sea? Yes, it was exciting. Which day did you do that? Sunday. And I saw some dolphins. Wow! Four. We had a great party one day. All my uncle and aunt's friends came to see the new apartment. Which day was that? Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Did you cook any nice food for them? No. We sat in the garden. I painted a picture of a pirate. Five. What did you do on Monday? My aunt wanted to put some flowers on the balcony. Did you help her? No, not that day. I went swimming. My uncle and aunt have a swimming pool in their garden. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. Which man is John's teacher? That's my teacher. Look, he's getting on the bus. The thin man with the blue sweater, John. He's not wearing a blue sweater. It's grey. Oh, I see him. He's carrying a bag. 
Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What must Mary take to school? I need to go to school now, Dad. Have you got your baseball bat and that CD, Mary? No, there's no sport at school today and the music class is on Friday. OK. Oh, wait. I need my skates for the playground after school. Please be careful. Two. What's Alex doing upstairs? Why is Alex upstairs? He wanted to email someone, but Grandma's on the computer. Well, he must do his homework now. He can't, Mom. He's texting his friend. Not again! Three. What did Ben dream about last night? Hello, Grandpa. I had a dream last night. Did you dream about a jungle again, Ben? No. I was on a mountain. Was it nice? No. I'd like to dream about being on an island. Four. What did Jane do at the party last night? Was it a good party last night, Jane? Did you dance a lot? No. The music wasn't very good, Grandpa. Did you eat something? No. I had a stomach ache. Oh. Did you take any photos? Yes, with my new camera. It was great. Five. What was the weather like last week in Uncle Bill's village? Look, Sam. It's raining again. Oh, dear. The weather is never good when you come here, Uncle Bill. Well, it was sunny last Friday. I went to sleep in the garden. Your village has very nice weather. Not always. Last week it was very windy and cold. Now listen to part four again. One. What must Mary take to school? I need to go to school now, Dad. Have you got your baseball bat and that CD, Mary? No. There's no sport at school today, and the music class is on Friday. OK. Oh, wait! I need my skates for the playground after school. Please be careful. Two. What's Alex doing upstairs? Why is Alex upstairs? He wanted to email someone, but Grandma's on the computer. Well, he must do his homework now. He can't, Mom. He's texting his friend. Not again! Three. What did Ben dream about last night? Hello, Grandpa. I had a dream last night. Did you dream about a jungle again, Ben? No. I was on a mountain. Was it nice? No. I'd like to dream about being on an island. Four. What did Jane do at the party last night? Was it a good party last night, Jane? Did you dance a lot? No. The music wasn't very good, Grandpa. Did you eat something? No. I had a stomach ache. Oh. Did you take any photos? Yes, with my new camera. It was great. Five. What was the weather like last week in Uncle Bill's village? Look, Sam. It's raining again. Oh, dear. The weather is never good when you come here, Uncle Bill. Well, it was sunny last Friday. 
I went to sleep in the garden. Your village has very nice weather. Not always. Last week it was very windy and cold. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at this picture of a market. Can I color something? Okay. Can you see the woman's hat? Yes, I can. Color it red. Okay. I'm coloring her hat now. Can you see the red hat? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write. One. Can I color something different now? Yes. Would you like to color the bottle? The one next to the bread? Okay. Please color that bottle green. That's a nice idea. Two. Now, would you like to write something? Yes. What shall I write? Write the word food on the big book. Why is the woman holding that book? Because she wants to read about food. Okay. I'm writing that now. Three. Can I do some more coloring now? Yes. What would you like to do? Can I color one of the vegetables? Okay. Please color the carrot between the glass and the grapes. Do it orange. It's for the rabbit. He loves carrots. Four. Now, can you see the cheese? Oh, I see it. The woman's carrying it in her shopping bag. No, the cheese behind the boy. He dropped it. Can I do it yellow? Yes, you can. Thanks. Five. What can we do now? It's the last thing. I know. Can I color the bowl? Which one? The square bowl. Okay. Please do it blue. I like this picture a lot now. Now listen to part five again. One. Can I color something different now? Yes. Would you like to color the bottle? The one next to the bread? Okay. Please color that bottle green. That's a nice idea. Two. Now, would you like to write something? Yes. What shall I write? Write the word food on the big book. Why is the woman holding that book? Because she wants to read about food. Okay. I'm writing that now. Three. Can I do some more coloring now? Yes. What would you like to do? Can I color one of the vegetables? Okay. 
Please color the carrot between the glass and the grapes. Do it orange. It's for the rabbit. He loves carrots. Four. Now, can you see the cheese? Oh, I see it. The woman's carrying it in her shopping bag. No, the cheese behind the boy. He dropped it. Can I do it yellow? Yes, you can. Thanks. Five. What can we do now? It's the last thing. I know. Can I color the bowl? Which one? The square bowl. Okay. Please do it blue. I like this picture a lot now. That is the end of the Movers Listening Test.